Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. You are dear to me. These words would be so pleasant and beautiful for anyone to listen to. And this is what Ram Chandraji tells Hanumanji when he comes back with the mountain and revives Lakshman. Raghupati Kimhi Bahuta Badai Duma Mama Priya Bharata Hasamabai. You are as dear to me as my brother Bharat. The character of Bharat in the Ramayan is a very beautiful and interesting one. There are two great epics within the Hindu culture. And the first is the Ramayan and the second is the Mahabharata. Both are stories of brothers and kingdoms. In the Mahabharata, we have Prince Pandu and Dhritarashtra, brothers. Dhritarashtra was born blind and could not be given the kingdom. And so Pandu ruled for many years. When he died unexpectedly, Dhritarashtra ruled in his name. And so the kingdom was to go to Pandu's sons, the Pandavas. But Dhritarashtra always wanted the kingdom. He was always very jealous of his brother Pandu for having taken the throne. And so his inner bitterness and resentment was passed on to his kids who then fought for the kingdom and fought with such unrighteousness. It led to not a civil war, but a war between two brothers or a family and hundreds and thousands of soldiers were killed and it would have been the lowest point of the kingdom at that time to have such a horrendous incident so painful for each person in the family because people you loved and grew up with were killed by people you loved and grew up with and then we see in the story of the Ramayan Ram Chandraji was promised the kingdom KK grew jealous and managed to send Ram to the forest for 14 years and secure this kingdom for her own son Bharat. Bharat and Ram were brothers and when Bharat heard of this, he didn't want the kingdom. He wanted Ram to come back and take the throne. The only difference in these two epics is Bharat. The reason the Ramayan doesn't end in disaster and heartache is because Bharat's heart is so pure. He didn't want name, fame. He didn't want power. He didn't want to have which he thought was not his. He knew Ram was a brilliant leader a righteous king. He knew that no person would do a better job than Ram. And interestingly, he did as good a job as Ram. But he still thought, no, the kingdom was entrusted to him. He's the rightful heir. I don't want it. This quality of purity is praised so extensively by all the poets who write on the Ramayan to talk about his courage, his strength, his persistence, because when he comes back to the kingdom, he's being accused by everyone. And the pain of first having lost his brother and then the pain of being falsely accused like this. His mother had done it without his awareness at all. And yet you see that his purity is so great that at the end of the Ramayana, Bharati is only ever glorified, never ever suspected or doubted to have any kind of inclination to take anything away from Ram Chandraji. In the Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna describes the qualities of a devotee that make a person dear to him. 
And there's about six verses, and the first one is Adveshta Sarva Bhutana Maitra Karuna Evacha Nirmamo Nirahankaraha Samadukha Sukha Shami. And if you see these qualities that's narrated in the Bhagavad Gita, Bharat has every single one of them. All the six verses is too much to go through, but just the first one. Adveshta Sarva Bhutana Metra Karuna Evacha To have a spirit of not hating anyone and a sense of friendship towards everyone. And we see this. We see this as Bharat goes through the forest to find Ramchandraji. Whoever he meets, he looks at them as a friend if they were Ramchandraji's friends. Even the vegetation and the animals, he looks at them as friends because they have seen he is Ram Chandraji. That sense of togetherness and oneness and brotherhood he imbibes so completely. Nirmamo Nirahankaraha, the sense of no ego. And I think this is the quality that really makes Bharat shine. It was never about him, it was always about Ram and Ram's beauty. I had seen a beautiful poster of Swami Chidanandaji of the Divine Life Society and he is bowing down Shashtang Namaskar to the Murti of Ram Chandraji and he himself has signed on this picture and he has written Where you are, I am not. Where I am, you are not. The you referring to Sri Ram. Where you are, I am not. And in the picture, he is lying flat on the ground doing prostrations. When the ego is completely disappeared in surrender of the Lord, the Lord alone exists. I no longer exist. Where I am, when the ego asserts itself and feels so important and is filled with desire and action, you are not. I can no longer see the Lord within me. Bharat's love is constantly the sense of surrender to the Lord. He is not there, only his love for the Lord is there. And so his purity and his beauty is just so evident to everyone. And he makes the Ramayan as glorious as Ramchandraji himself. And he does it because in that total surrender, the Lord alone shines, reminding us all too that when we surrender, when our ego is deflated, then his glory shines through us. Then he is seen in our words and deeds. He is seen in the love and compassion in our eyes. But the minute the ego asserts itself, we push him into the background. And so, may we remember, whenever we see the Lord in front of us, where you are, I am not. Where I am, you are not. Think about it.